It's no secret that scaling a business is never a smooth journey, with several key challenges often standing in the way. Today, we'll dive into these three major hurdles, securing financing, attracting the top talent, and of course, navigating the latest technology. Joining us to unpack these challenges is Steve Taplin, CEO and co-founder of Sonatify Technology. It's wonderful to have you with me. How can businesses secure that financing needed to scale? It's a question on a lot of people's minds, especially at the moment. Thanks for having me, Mike. I appreciate it. And I've been a serial entrepreneur throughout my entire career, scaling multiple businesses. And first off, getting financing is absolutely critical. Um, making sure you have the right business plan to either attract investors, secure bank financing, or putting your own money in is really key and the most important thing is to ensure you have a plan to go about it i see too many people that create a business plan want to get started and they have no idea which route they're going to take or how much funding they actually need to be able to reach profitability so that's key advice i have for people yeah absolutely uh what's the secret to attracting that top talent and of course retaining them as well in a very competitive market as well if we can move through to the next step you bet. Um, no doubt the secret to attracting top talent is selling your mission. What your company is trying to do, what you are uh, aspiring for, and the culture that you have within the company. Uh, I have seen more times than not people, it's not about the highest pay or the most flexibility. It's about being with a company that they could truly stand behind the mission and have a shared culture. Yeah, I think that's a very good point, especially after we've seen you know, the great resignation, work from home, changing everything. But let's head to companies keeping up with the rapidly changing technology that of course facilitates work from home and things like that. How do you keep up when it comes to AI and all these new things? Well, it's important when you're scaling a business or a startup to make sure you have the right tools or the right tech stack so that you can be successful. And this could mean CRM systems, this could mean using financial software like QuickBooks, or even using shared file systems like Dropbox. Making sure you have your tech stack there and that you're using it uh, in an efficient manager manner so that your team doesn't have to spend time thinking about how to accomplish something uh, is absolutely key. As far as AI, that's something everybody's trying to keep up with today. If you ask 10 different tech leaders what AI is, you'd probably get 10 <laughs> different answers. And a good place to start is ChatGPT um, and the insights they can provide you. Okay, so finally, how important is marketing and sales when it comes to driving growth once we've managed to put all those three things together and hopefully make some waves? I, you know, when I first started as an entrepreneur, I didn't even know the difference between marketing and sales. Here I am, you know, looking at mistakes I made and having the right marketing where you can attract people, you can attract your phone to ring, you can get those appointments, and then having the right sales approach so when you do get these people, um, you're able to take them through a buyer journey and give them the right credibility and comfort to move forward with you. But making sure you have a plan for both before you're jumping into a venture uh, is a lesson I learned the hard way. Yeah, of course. And it's those lessons that are so valuable. Steve, I'm curious to know a little bit more about your team and the work that you do now that we've taken all of those lessons and picked your brain for those insights. Tell us a little bit about you. You bet. My company is Synonified Technology. We are a global software development company. We help from startups through Fortune 500 companies build custom software development systems, whether it's cloud-based or mobile-based. And we have a lot of AI uh, consulting we do for clients, uh, really helping them how to eat an elephant one bite at a time, starting with small projects and building up from there. Wonderful stuff from you. And of course, if people want to find out more, perhaps learn a little bit more from you, where's the best place to do? Uh, go to our website, www.sonatify.com, and that's S-O-N-A-T-A-F-Y.com. Wonderful stuff. Steve, thanks for joining us on the program. Of course, breaking down those three thanks major challenges. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All the best. Have a good one. All right, of course, this has been Ticker. Hopefully you've learned something from our discussion. Some very good points presented very clearly for you from Steve there. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Ticker. We'll have more in just a few minutes.